Hi guys, my name is Onoha UI and I'm a Canva certified creative from Nigeria. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create Instagram stories with the Canva mobile app. So without any further ado, let's get started. To start designing using a blank template, you need to tap on the plus button and then select Instagram story. Once this opens up, just tap outside and here you have your artboard. The first thing we want to do is to change the color of our artboard. So tap on your artboard and go to color. Tap on this plus button here. Select this color picker tool. Drag the circle to where you want to copy. I want to use gray and I will just tap on done. Now we've selected gray as our artboard's color. The next thing we want to do is add an element. So we'll use the plus button again. Go to element. Under lines and shapes, we are going to select the square. Now I will just adjust it like this. And then I'm going to add a frame. Plus button. I'm going to select see all under recently used. And then I will select this one. I'll drag it down and increase it like this. Now I'm going to add a photo inside our frame. Simply tap on the frame, tap on replace, go to photo and select the image you want. I'm going to use this one. To edit a photo inside a frame, double tap on the frame. Now we are going to add a grid. Tap on the plus button, scroll down under the element tab, select the first grid, adjust it. Now to add a photo inside a grid, tap on replace, select photos and select the photo that you want. To edit a photo inside a grid, just double tap on it and you can adjust it like this. Now we're going to change the color of our element, the yellow one. Tap on it, select color. We're going to choose a color from the photo. We're going to choose this one. Now we're going to add another element to our design. Tap on the plus button here. Go to Element, under Recently Used, I'm going to select this one. I will rotate it, drag it around here, increase it. And then I will go to Position and I will position it to the back. Now it's time to add our text. Tap on the plus button, select the text tab. I will use this one. Now I'm going to ungroup it. I will ungroup it. I will select this one. I'll place it here. I will drag this one down and this is going to be my header. I will go to formats. I'll make it bold, spacing, I can increase the spacing or even reduce it, but I will just reduce it a little bit. And for line spacing, I'm going to reduce it. I will change the color to white. I will make sure it's in the middle of the grid then I can increase it. Drag it down. I'll select this one and I will write my text. Then I will style it. I will go to format, all caps, and then I will go to spacing. Then I will use letter spacing. Then I will change the color, change it to white. 
I'll drag it to the top here and then I will duplicate this text take it to the top I will change the content here that's it then I will use my node 2 to push it down I will select the three text and I will go to position and select tidy up now I'm going to add a button I will select this and duplicate it resize it and drag it down I will select this text and duplicate it I give it a text called shop now and then I will go to format italics make it bold and then spacing I'll reduce the spacing then I will increase the text entirely now I will select the text and the shape I will group both of them and then I will use my notch button and take it down a little bit then I'm going to work on this part I will select it change the color to white and then I am going to change the content And then I will go to format, make it italics, and then spacing, I will increase the letter spacing. Format, I will align it to the left. And then I can just drag it here. I will use my node tool to push it towards the left. Then I'm going to introduce a line. Tap on the plus button again, go over to elements, under lines and shape, select line, select the weight and change it to the value of 2, change the style, select the first one and then rotate it and drag it here and I'm going to duplicate it. So I have another one right here. Now I'm going to add my logo. Go to the plus button. Recently used items. I'm going to scroll and I'm going to select this one. And I'm going to bring it right here. Make sure it's in the middle. And then I'm going to add my logo. This is a, an element in Canva. You can put your own logo there and right here. So I will change the color to this, to this. I'll change them to this and this one to this. Here we go. We have successfully added our element. We've worked with frames. Now, we want to edit the photo to look even more professional. To do that, simply tap on the photo and go to adjust. Here we're going to add different values. For brightness, we are going to add six. Contrast is going to be within 11 or 12. I'm going to use 12. And then I'm going to choose saturation it's going to be 9. I need to increase it a little bit so the photo needs to pop. And then I need to add a blur of negative 4. And then I'm going to add some bit of clarity. And for clarity, I'm going to... Let's go with 5. And then for vibrance, we're going to add 27. 
now you can see that the image is more brighter and has more power than before and that's it thank you guys for watching this tutorial and i hope you really enjoyed it now you can create your own instagram stories using the canva mobile app don't forget seven days without canva makes one week and until then i doubt